Hey Rhythm Guitar Rockers, this is Mark Turco from RhythmGuitarLessons.net and today I got a video for you about controlling excess string noise, meaning stopping strings from ringing that you don't want to be ringing while you're playing certain chords. It could sound messy, unclear, and make you sound unprofessional. I have two different techniques that I'm going to show you. I'll show you examples of both and then I'll show you later on how I take both examples and combine them together to make one technique. So this first technique involves muting your low E string. So for example, if you're going to be playing like a C major chord and you don't want to be so precise with your strumming hand that you always have to hit the fifth string going down to the first string and you just kind of want to keep your whole hand going through all six strings, there's a way in which you can mute the low E string. Simply, if I were to make a C chord, instead of having this finger be precisely where it needs to be, not touching my low E string, I can actually take this finger and I could cheat it just a little bit towards the low E string so it's just touching. I'm not pressing down on the fret. That way we get this sound. So while strumming all six strings, you won't hear that sound. All the volume of all the other notes will actually just bury it and you'll never hear it. Otherwise, if I were to play through all six strings, it sounds messy. Another way in which you could do this as well is that if you wanted to, you could use your thumb and you can actually bring it up over your guitar neck like that. Same idea, same, same technique, where we're just lightly touching the string, that way we don't have to be precise in making sure that we start at the fifth string and strum down. We could strum through all six strings. This is really good if you're gonna be playing, for example, let's just say an A major chord or an A minor chord or something like that. This can just come up over the top and just Touch the string. You don't want to press down. Otherwise, it sounds like that. So these are two different ways, but it's the same idea in the sense that we're going to be blocking the sixth string from being heard while we're strumming. It also works really well for you if you're going to be using distortion. Very messy sounding. Much clearer and cleaner sounding. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to apply that same concept to your first finger and mute the sixth string if I'm gonna be using power chords. So I'm using a power chord on the third fret. Between the third and fifth fret, my first finger's on the third fret, ring finger's on the fifth fret, pinky's on the fifth fret, and it's on strings five, four, and three, a C power chord. So if I take my first finger and it lightly touches the low E string, I could play through all four strings and it sounds nice and clean. If I don't do that and my first finger doesn't touch the low E string, it sounds kind of messy and sloppy. Definitely sounds messy and sloppy. So like I said before, especially if you're performing, you're in the heat of the moment, it's actually easier to have this finger touch that string lightly to learn how to do that than to worry about being so precise with your right hand. So if I were to go back and forth, I don't have to worry about what is this hand doing, I could just make sure that my chord changes are accurate. So without the string muting, with the string muting. There's one other technique I wanna show you and it has to do with when you're using power chords also. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first finger and instead of having it arched up, we're going to flatten it out slightly just so our finger touches the strings lightly. That way we get this kind of effect. 
you don't hear the high E or B string. And again, the sound of the other notes is going to mask that sound. You don't have to be as precise with your picking hand. If we take that and combine it with the first one, we could play a power chord starting on the fifth string, mute your low E string, mute the high E string, and mute your B string, and only be playing the notes that your fingers are touching, but we can actually go through all six strings with our strumming hand. If I weren't to do that, it would sound like this. So just a quick recap. Remember, if you wanna mute your low E string, you could have any finger that is on your fifth string lightly touch the sixth string just by moving your finger slightly just to barely touch the sixth string but to keep that string from ringing. If we're gonna be using power chords, we could do the same thing with our first finger but we can also flatten our finger out slightly so then that way we're just lightly touching the two high strings. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and set your notifications so that, that way you'll know when I make a new video. Remember, always have fun with your guitar, and I'll see you next time. If you like that video, you're going to love this brand new e-guide that's totally free. The link is in this video's description, or you can go to rhythmguitarlessons.net forward slash capital P lowercase r lowercase o.